Wild Horse has the supreme status in the minds of many people, and many outstanding people will be compared to the Wild Horse on the grassland, which is a way for people to directly express their love for Wild Horse. Some people living on the grassland will take the Wild Horse as the guardian spirit of the grassland and express their longing for a better life. Most Wild Horses possess many wonderful qualities and are extremely friendly to humans. Wild horse represents a culture of harmonious coexistence, yet a species that had been friendly to humans suddenly closed in on them. The encircled man was almost on his knees, but the wild horse would not leave. So what's going on? Wild horses are generally friendly to humans, but their large size and deadly hooves can cause great damage. What did the wild horse want to do with the man? The story happened on an ordinary day in Romania. It was a fine day. In the sunshine, the trees became more beautiful and the breeze gently brushed the man's smiling face. The man was leisurely walking along the country road listening to the sweet song of birds and enjoying the scenery. The man felt comfortable standing on the raised hill, looking out over the endless grassland. Before long, something even more exciting happened to him. He could hear the sound of a wild horse galloping. It was the clatter of its hooves against the ground. Although the man did not see the wild horse and could not tell where it was, he was happy to hear the sound of hooves. The man moved forward curiously, wanting to feel the wonder of nature. Just as he came to a grassy area, he noticed something was wrong. There was a strange noise. The grass was so lush that it obscured the sound. Although he knew there were many dangers in the meadow, the man, driven by curiosity, decided to see what was going on. The man moved cautiously toward the source of the sound, watching carefully for an immediate reaction. When he finally reached his destination, he was shocked by what he saw. He couldn't believe what he was seeing. He saw a wild horse, whose dark brown fur was shiny, and whose nape and spine were covered with a black mane. It was a strong and beautiful wild horse, but the condition of the wild horse made the man feel wrong. In his mind, wild horses were mostly standing, but the wild horse was lying on the grass and gasping for breath. The scene was not at all what the man had in mind. It was not the wild horse he remembered running or strolling freely. The disturbing scene prompted the man to get closer to the wild horse and take a closer look. One of the wild horse's legs was caught in a trap, so it could not move. The wild horse looked at the man and wanted to plead with him. The man guessed that the wild horse had been trapped for several days and was very weak. Luckily, the wild horse met the man. The man was an experienced veterinarian and loved nature and animals. The man decided to do his best to help the wild horse after finding it trapped. The man took out his travel knife and tried to cut the chain. The wild horse's limbs wiggled a few times as the man approached. However, as the man was careful and ready to help it, the wild horse remained quiet neither fidgeting nor dodging, but cooperating with the man. In this case, the man quickly unbuckled a chain, causing him to smile again. However, things were not as simple as the man thought. As he rejoiced, a more painful thing happened to him. The wild horse's other leg was also trapped by a chain, and in a more serious condition. In this case, no one could bear the pain. The man wanted to take action. Although the wild horse may have an unknown reaction, the man separated the chain from the wild horse's body as carefully as possible. At that point, the wild horse was clearly in pain and trembled and let out a weak growl, but it did not attack the man and eventually became calm. An hour and a half later, the man finished his rescue with the wild horse still in pain. So the man put the painkiller in the apple, and fed it to the wild horse. After that, the painkillers took effect and the wild horse's pain eased. It opened its eyes in shock and was moved, and then it leaned over the man and the man got nervous. The wild horse's behavior was unpredictable, but the animal just gently touches the man's cheek as if to thank him. Then it took a few steps back to support itself on its hind legs and let out a song of joy. The wild horse then looked even to the man's eyes 
nodded and left. The running of the wild horse and its gentleness shocked the man. How sad it was that this free wild horse was bound by a chain. After being rescued, the gentleness of this wild horse was fascinating. Every species has the right to run freely, and we should not deprive it. The beauty of nature lies in the diversity of species. Nature is great. It is because of the diversity of species, the world will become more beautiful. We have the duty to protect animals.